a city on the cutting edge of the world where the past meets the future where every daily action is a precise art form and for the next two weeks it's my goal to experience it all As with all my Japan tour videos, I have to spin the wheel for a random travel challenge. So here we go. Do the egg toss challenge with a stranger. If you lose, you must have an egg smashed on your head. That sounds lovely. But first, I want to take you straight to the heart of Tokyo. There's something about Tokyo that when I'm walking the streets, I feel like I'm experiencing all of Japan right here in this bustling millisecond. But it's not just Japan. When you visit this city, you are in touch with the world. I mean, this is, after all, the most populated city in the world with 37 million people. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you four different aspects or moments of my trip that made me feel like, wow, I've got Tokyo, I've got Japan, I've got the world right now in my fingertips. Capsule hotels are not the same as having your own room, but they're pretty dang close. At times during my Japan trip, I ended up staying in capsule hotels when they were significantly cheaper than staying in my own room. And when I did so, I felt like I was getting almost the same value and experience as if I stayed in my own room. And then the capsules themselves are super cozy. It really does feel like you have your own little space pod separated from the rest of the world. Japan is the master of presentation as well as creating a cozy atmosphere. And these are the reasons that I grew to cherish staying at capsule hotels. I found that to be an essential experience of my Japan trip. Our next stop is not quite as cozy as capsule hotels. Okay, that's a little creepy, honestly. This is Miraikon, Tokyo's National Museum for Emerging Science and Innovation. Many people, including myself, have this romantic dream of Tokyo as this city of the future with robots and neon lights everywhere. And of course, more buttons on your toilet than a spacecraft. And Miraikon, in many ways, is the embodiment of that image. It's lively, vivid museum exhibits, differentiated from most, if not all, other museums that I visited. My favorite was Into the Diverse World, which is this giant globe map which displays the world in every aspect you can think of, from food to music. I had a lot of great experiences my two weeks in Tokyo, but maybe the best one was meeting a grand master who took me under his wing. As I've discussed in previous videos, I've had this dream of an elderly wise Asian man teaching me some ancient secrets about energy. And while I was energy bending, which is like my own version of Tai Chi in the park one day, this elderly man came up to me and showed me this very unique energy technique. He just kept saying sun energy, space energy over and over again. I think it's a technique to capture and absorb the sun's energy into your body or something. This dude is like an energy space healing master. He like paints these fantastic art pieces of the space and the cosmos. And he even has his own telescope where he takes pictures of planetary objects. The whole experience was so strangely awesome. Like being a character in a movie, like the moment daniel son met Mr. Miyagi. To me, he is another beautiful representation of Tokyo because he's taking 
take in something scientific, something beyond this world in space and energy and turned it into his own beautiful art. Before I left, he gave me some pictures. Wow, and I haven't looked at, at this since he gave it to me. I forgot how beautiful it is. It's like some volcano. And then he gave me this envelope. Oh wow, yeah, that is freaking cool. Whoa. If you look at it the right way, it kind of looks like an egg tossed midair. Folks, I'm right in front of the Kyoko Gaien National Garden. This place, beautiful, wide open, public green space, right in front of the Japanese Imperial Palace. This is the perfect spot to do to my egg toss challenge and make my mark on history. Just first gotta find me a, a friendly stranger who's willing to engage. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> What's your name? Yana. Yana, okay. Thank Thank you so much, Yanya. So the rules of the egg toss challenge are pretty simple. There's an egg, two people, and you start just standing in front of each other. Once someone catches it, that person takes one step back. And the person who catches it keeps taking a step back until eventually someone's gonna drop it. Hopefully it's not gonna be me. <laughs> Can you take a step back? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I've seen better days. Like how about this one? It's New Year's Eve everyone and I'm at Asakusa, the Sensoji temple and it is absolutely packed. All my senses are engaged, the lights everywhere. You can see the Tokyo Tower lighting up in the distance, all the flavors of the night market area. Couldn't think of a better place to ring in the new year. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you for the next episode. <laughs> You're waiting for that, weren't you? On the next episode of my On the Ground Japan tour, Tokyo. When the sun goes down and the lights turn on, this place becomes one amazingly strange neon blockbuster set.